Good evening, Ketsa. In today's lesson, uh, we'll study Wesley Sov versus Melkumian, uh, 2022. So it's a really an amazing attacking game, and the, the trick that that happened, you know, you'll see. It's 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 a very good one. So e4, c6. And of course, you know this opening, right? It's a Karakhan. It's a good opening to play with the black side. <clears throat> and if you don't have any system against uh, the Karakhan, then then you can develop like this, like Wesley Saw did it. And here, h3. All right, queen f3. And takes, and then uh, rook d1. Right, of course, white wants to, to push pawn to d4. Okay, nothing special happened in the opening, right? So everything is normal, right? And we should d3. Knight b8. Okay, may, you may ask yourself, what's the reason that Black's playing knight b8? Well, he's going back, um, but he wants to position the knight to c6, um, or thinks that knight is stronger. And here, um, this is where uh, where the game starts. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> you will see it's really fun. So Wesley plays a tricky move here, very tricky one. Of course, uh, Wesley is one of the best American uh, grandmasters and um, fantastic with tactics. Right, so he plays bishop h6, and he he um, he of course saw everything when when he played this move. Black goes for fork. It looks like black is winning the game, right? Because it's a fork. But I can imagine how surprised uh, uh, Mark Man was when uh, when he saw this move, rook e4. Now, I'll show you, I'll explain you this move. Look, um, the rook is capturing, and of course, we have to see immediately d takes e4. That's not what happened in the game, right? But here, yeah, Wesley would play queen f7. Look at this one. And after king takes bishop c4, king has to go to f6, knight takes. And then here g4. And after king takes rook e1. And here you can play rook e3 or bishop d5, checkmate. An amazing, right? Of course, Wesley saw every time, right? For sure. When he captured rook e4, you know, he had to see like all this combination queen of seven. That's easy for him, you know, he can calculate this in, in a couple of seconds, right? So the game continued from here uh, with a knight of eight. And uh, and here we have an amazing move again. I mean, something that you have to learn, right? When you attack the king, sacrifice of the knight, right? In order to open the king. And uh, that's how attack works, right? So what we really learned uh, from this game is how to attack. Queen d6, queen g4 attack. And here another beautiful move d5 look at this sacrifice if queen takes then bishop g6 and we're gonna do now there's discover discover check like bishop e4 or bishop e8 right a lot of um or bishop h7 and queen g7 checkmate a lot of different moves right and of course you cannot uh, take because here checkmate all right, so that's what Wesley saw after d5. Now, queen of six, uh, g3, rook f5, and the game ended up here after, after bishop g5 and bishop f6. And bishop goes to f6. Um, so the game ended up in this position, or even rook f7 down there. You know, it's a lot of fun, different moves that uh, white can can play. So black black resign the game. So let's see what are the most important moves. I mean, the opening, um, 
in the opening, nothing special happened, right? But like I said, if you if you like to develop the pieces this way, you can use it in your own games. Don't think that uh, Kyle Khan is a bad opening just because um, in this game, of course, it's a good opening. But really, uh, the game started here with Bishop H6, a tricky move. Wesley set up a fantastic trick, right? And uh, of course, the, the most important move of the game is rookie four. Right, that's where the sacrifice happened, and then we have um, then we have um, this sacrifice here, nine to five. Like that's an important one, you know, if you want to learn how to attack, and everything else um, in, in this one, yeah. This one is also important, Rook D5, another sacrifice, right? Let's see that uh, beautiful uh, sacrifice here one more time. So pawn takes an E4, and you play Queen of 7 Bishop C4, there is no other move than King of King of 6 Knight E4, and there's nothing after this move you have to play. Rook E1, and, and you can also play Rook E3 if you want. Now, just... Um, just to see like after bishop h6 so e4 e4 was mistake right now we know that right bishop f8 was a better move and uh, <clears throat> and then after bishop f8 now you can play e4 and uh, this sacrifice now is not working right rook takes e4 okay i hope you enjoy this uh this uh, game and i'll put the link under the uh, the lesson and uh, you can analyze uh, a little bit on your own. Bye-bye. Have a good night.